welcome to story time. My name is Alpha Wolf and today we are going to do about 20 minutes of stories, songs, and rhymes. In order to help everyone have a successful and enjoyable experience, I have a few guidelines to share. Grown-ups, if your kiddo isn't having fun or is being disruptive, please step out to take a break and rejoin us when you're ready. Please save snacks for outside of the storytime space. Some animals have allergies. Thank you everyone for helping keep each other safe. Grown-ups, I'm going to encourage everyone to participate since research shows that what we do in story time helps kiddos get ready to read and helps them to be successful in hunting school. We're going to do a fun song that has rhyming words. We know that rhyming words help kiddos notice the smaller sounds of language, especially a uh, woo. My favorite song is A Hunting We Will Go. Oh, goody. I love hunting. But that song makes me hungry, especially the part where you put a fish on a dish. Ugh, tell me about it. I'm super hungry. I haven't eaten all winter. Why? Because I hibernate during the winter, of course. Okay, okay friends, let's get back to the hunting song. After that, we can sing Bears Are Sleeping. Since it's springtime now, and winter is over. I'm so confused. What's winter? What does hibernate mean? I've heard of sleep, but we don't really do that. I don't really know what that is. Oh, okay. Well, you must be visiting from out of town. Yes, I'm actually visiting from California. We do love to hunt. We hunt in the ocean. Well, welcome. I'm glad you are joining us today. I have a suggestion though. You might not want to mention that you are from California because a lot of animals in Colorado are it big fans of animals from California? It might work better for you to just say that you are visiting from the Pacific Ocean. What's an ocean? Oh boy, I can see we need to work on background knowledge. Well, Let's sing our rhyming song together. Ready? A hunting, hunting we, we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll find a duck and put him in a truck and never let him go. A hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll find a bunny and drizzle it with honey. And never let it go. Mmm. Does it, honey? Sweetened roast bunny sound delicious? <coughs> Mama Duck and Mama Rabbit, please help your kiddos participate and follow the guidelines. Or if they need to, please take a break and come back. Quack! That, this sounds 
like, <laughs> sorry, hang on a second. This sounds like a great opportunity to learn a new song. I can't wait to tell my supervisor in my quarterly review about what a clever wolf I am for applying my learning. I'm almost as clever as a fox sneaking up on a rabbit. Okay, well as rabbits, we hear things like this in the world all the time. We are pretty quiet animals and don't speak up very much. But when something feels wrong, I need to speak up like my friend Mama Duck did. It's not easy for me to learn to speak up, but I'm going to do it on behalf of my baby and to show her she can find her voice no matter how quiet and it's important she should be heard and respected in this world. Wow, okay. Well, I definitely have a lot to learn from you all. I actually feel pretty good about that because I want to represent my organization's culture of humility and spirit of curiosity. Mama Duck, would you be willing to share your song with us now? Okay, so anyway, this is not only a rhyming song, it is also a great song for helping to build early math skills. As I mentioned already, it's called Five Little Ducks. You ready to help baby duck? Okay, it goes like this. Five little ducks went out to play over the hill and far away. Mama duck said, wait, this is your part, you ready? <coughs> oh, good job, baby duck. And only four ducks came waddling back. Ooh, ooh, uh, I heard that song before on National Duck Day. We talk about ducks and do duck things at our school. We do lots of fun things that celebrate ducks. We pretend like we're ducks and we wear beaks and stuff like that on one day per year. At my school, when we do that song, our teachers tell us it's great to use the toes on our front paws to do the counting part. We should all do that. Okay, well, you are welcome to do the movements that you do on your paws during National Duck Day, but we do, but ducks don't have wing, but ducks have wings instead of paws, so we can't do that. But we are great auditory listeners, and we don't need to rely on visual cues like counting on toes on a paw. Anyway, everyone has different learning styles, and that's great. You do you, Bear. Oh, that gives me a great idea. While the ducks do the song bobbing their heads the way ducks do, the rest of us could try to do the song using our five front toes like Bear. Um, spiders don't have toes. So we aren't going to be able to count with our front toes. Oh, oops. That's right. Okay, well, like Mama Duck says, you do you. And do whatever movements you want to. I have another great idea. We can also sing the popular spider song. Um, I think I know which song you're talking about. Is it? Itsy Bitsy Spider? Yes! And everyone knows that song, and everybody does it, even at wolf school. And besides, it is part of our collective culture as animals. <laughs> Which is actually kind of funny, since spiders aren't animals. But we are so happy that you are joining us today anyway, Spider. We welcome everyone at Storytime who would like to join us, even if they aren't 
animals. I, I know this isn't common knowledge in what you call co collective culture, but spiders actually are animals. We're part of the great animal kingdom. We're living things that aren't plants. So we do belong among the other animals and we aren't outsiders. I know that Itsy Bitsy Spider Song is fun, but it isn't very popular among spiders. Oh, I totally forgot about the fact that spiders are part of the animal kingdom. Sorry about that. It's just that you don't really look like an animal. Oh. That probably wasn't a very nice thing to say. I didn't mean for it to be offensive or hurtful. Well, I'm glad you are remembering that spiders are part of the animal kingdom. I have a thought, though. It might be helpful for you to read a little bit about something called microaggression. Uh, oh, gosh. Thank you. I will write that down. It's so cool to be learning new things. I'm so excited. I have a such great growth mindset. Growth mindset. Go me. Oh, woo. I do have to add, though, that another reason a lot of us appreciate the Itsy Bitsy Spider song is that it gives us background knowledge about spiders and what they do. You mean climbing up the water spout? Well, this gets to the point of where it's not very popular song among spiders. Because actually not all spiders climb up water spouts in the first place. Some spiders don't climb up things at all. They dig a hole in the ground. Besides, if a spider were to climb a water spout in order to build a web way up high or something like that, they certainly wouldn't keep climbing up the same water spout again and again and again. The spider in the sun keeps getting washed out, but keeps making the same mistake. Spiders are smart and do the same thing and don't do the same thing over and over and over and over if it's not working. Like other animals, we are problem solvers and learn to do things differently next time. Oh, that's interesting. Wolves usually don't do things differently the next time. We usually just follow the pack. Wow, okay. Anyway, thank you for hearing me. And speaking of hearing and listening, I would love to hear the rest of Mama Duck's song. Oh, good idea. Wow, we keep going off in so many different directions. I don't even know which song we were doing. Thank you for the reminder. Mama Duck, please continue with your song. Let's move. However, our bodies can move fast. <laughs> I can move with my fins and tail. And one more thing really quickly. I want to mention that spiders have amazing fine motor skills. They have very skilled legs, and my family uses those to build intricate webs. So I'm going to use my legs to do the counting part. What's a web? Again, grown-ups, background knowledge. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Five little ducks went out to play over the hill and far away. Mama Duck said, <coughs> And all five ducks came waddling back. Oh, that was great, Mama Duck. And it was fun to do that song today. And not 
just wait until National Duck Day. Maybe we can sing it from time to time all year long. Oh, we only have a few minutes left. We didn't get to any of our stories and only did one song so far. But we sure did learn a lot. And we still got to practice some rhyming skills. Oh, yay! Anyway, I think we have time for one more song. We decided not to do A Hunting We Will Go or Itsy Bitsy Spider. Oh, I have an idea. During this time of year, I think about Easter. Baby Bunny, I bet you have a great Easter rhyme or song to share with us. Maybe Hop Little Bunnies? We haven't heard a bunny song suggestion yet. You should teach us one. Alpha Wolf, as you have acknowledged, you have a lot to learn. I would encourage you to learn more about inclusion, not just diversity. This is a great curriculum. There is a great curriculum called Project Ready, which could help you learn more about this. And we do we do understand and appreciate that Easter is meaningful to many animals and fun for some animals. But not all bunnies celebrate Easter. And also, I think it's great that you are encouraging Baby Bunny to participate. However, she is actually really shy. And she might not want to be put on the spot to participate. Everyone is different and that should be respected and appreciated. We already talked about learning styles and diversity and inclusion, but another thing to consider is personality styles. It might be helpful for you to learn a little about something called differentiated instruction in addition to the other things we discussed today. Just a suggestion. Oh. Oh my gosh, you are so right. Great point. I do have a lot to learn. I look forward to learning more. But oh, right now my brain is really tired. <sighs> Tell me about it. I'm tired and hungry. It's hard for me to learn and pay attention when my basic needs haven't been met. Oh, I can only imagine, Bear. Oh, I have an idea. Maybe we could look into combining a story time with a food distribution event through a food bank. I love that idea. If we want, can we help plan it and do it? Sure! That would be a great community project and very empowering for your little ones. I bet Mama Duck and Mama Bunny like that word. Empowering! Oh, 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 I have an idea. Um, something we can do to make a difference too. Maybe we can all draw pictures that represent something about our real life. I could draw a spider web. Or maybe I'll put push pins in a foam board and build a pretty web on it. I could even include some shapes. Like Walter the Spider does in my favorite book, Walter first wonderful web. We could have kind of a art gallery here with rotating artwork that we make that authentically represents our individual lives. Oh, I love these ideas. Oh, and if I help make this happen, my supervisor would be very proud. Well, as long as I get permission from all the lone wolves first. <laughs> oh, well, we have about two minutes left. Shall we sing one more song to end on a fun note? Ha <laughs> ha, get it, note? 
like a music note. Unintended. I'm feeling like a clever fox again. Alpha Wolf, please remember what we discussed about clever foxes. Oh, right. Sorry. Anywho, or as I would say, any a woo. Does anyone have a suggestion for a final song? I do. Song? I do. I do. Let's sing Baby Shark. <laughs> no. no.